Hello and welcome to the show. Today we're going to learn how we can improve our reading comprehension. Uh, what is reading comprehension? Well, let me ask you this. Do you understand what you are reading? How do you know? Well, a lot of it has to do with the genre. If it's informational or if it's nonfiction, I love to talk to other people and to teach them new things. If it's fiction, then I love to tell people what is going on in my mind, what kind of pictures are being created in my mind. Also, if you can write about what you read, something tells me you may be understanding what you're reading. You need to make sure that you choose books that interest you. Sometimes we have to read things we don't necessarily want to read. But whenever you do have the choice, make sure you look around and see what's the best for what you're interested in. I like to be in a quiet location when I read. Some soft music's okay, but if the music's too loud, I can't focus. It distracts me. So make sure that you limit the distractions that are around you so you can comprehend what you're reading a little bit better. Reading comprehension is all about pacing yourself. If you read too slow, maybe you may never finish the text. If you read too fast, you're missing important details that you might need to answer questions or to understand the story. Don't be in such a hurry. Don't try to impress your neighbors. Read at your speed, because your speed's the best speed. Why do authors write books? Well, that's author's purpose. Purpose is why you do what you do. An author's purpose for writing a book may be to inform you or to teach you something, to persuade you or to try to change your mind about something, or to entertain you or to give you pleasure for what you're reading. Depending on the genre or type of book that we're reading, you may have no pictures or you may have many pictures. But one thing I like to do is preview the text. I like to take a picture walk, if you will. I like to look through the pictures to kind of preview what I'm about to be reading about. Whether you're aware of it or not, you're making connections as you read. Making connections as you read can greatly improve your reading comprehension. A text-to-text -text connection occurs when you're reading a text and you're thinking about a text that you've read before or you're reading at that current time. A text-to-self connection occurs when you're thinking about things that may be going on in your life or something you may have experienced before, just like a character you may be reading about in the book that you're reading. A text-to-world connection occurs when you're thinking about something that may be going on in the world right now. Maybe it doesn't have to do with you, but it's going on in the world and it's going on in the book. Sometimes we need to check our pride at the door. Well, what am I talking about? Well, sometimes we have questions when we're reading. Maybe it's a word. Maybe we don't understand something in the story. Well, your teacher or helper or whoever's helping in the classroom, their job is to lead, guide, and direct you in the right direction. Ask questions. Don't be embarrassed to ask for help. Even as an adult, sometimes I need to ask another adult for help. Do you have a journal or a diary? Sometimes I love to write down what I'm thinking so I can remember it at a later date. Sometimes writing about what you read greatly improves your reading comprehension. It helps get out some of the things that you're thinking or you're feeling about a character or a situation within the text that you're reading. Mr. Horan, do I have to read this on page 6? Yay, you bring up my next great point, using text features. Sometimes in what we read, there are text features that we definitely need to read in order to improve our comprehension. You definitely need to use context clues to help understand what you're reading. Mr. Horton, what are context clues? Mr. Horton, what are you doing? Context clues are hints that an author gives to help define a difficult or unusual word. The clue may appear within the same sentence as the word to which it refers, or it may follow in a preceding sentence. So if you're looking in a text and it has a sentence that says, he thrashed the six-string instrument, okay? You may not know what thrash means, and you may not know what the instrument is, but you can use context clues. Because it said it has six strings, you know that it may be a guitar, and you may be correct. Sometimes you come to a word you may not understand. You need to use your word attack skills. So the word is enlightenment. Let's have a word attack. The prefix or the beginning of the word "n" means in or within. Lighten means to bring lighten. That's our base word. And then mint is the ability to or to make. So this means to bring light to. I'm reading a book about Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass was actually punished as a child for learning how to read. Slaves in the South were not allowed to read. 
be grateful for the opportunity that you have to read. I'm sure there's many different reading strategies out there, but we've got to wrap up our show. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Reading can open up a window to so many opportunities. Don't forget to check out our Teachers Day Teachers store, Instagram, Facebook, or Pinterest. Check out our YouTube channel. Why? Because it's pop 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 popping. Want to hear about the Horton happenings at Bowtie Guy and Wife? Hop on over to our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.